And for another perspective on what's happening in Zimbabwe, we're joined by Tich Zedoga, a political editor at the Herald newspaper in Zimbabwe. Thank you for being with us. Uh, so you're a journalist. You're here in South Africa. Is, is that bothering you right now? Um, of course, uh, it's a situation that uh, bothers everybody. Mm. Um, Zimbabweans are at home and abroad and the world at large. Uh, you know, Zimbabwe has been um, a very peaceful and stable uh, part of the earth. And what is happening now is uh, yeah, certainly cause for concern. You're, you're not there, uh, but you have contacts in Zimbabwe. Uh, and, and there's so many conflicting reports coming through. So, so let's just start what you know, latest news. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, um, there is uh, the problem of, uh, you know, everybody becoming a journalist uh, right now, you know, and purveying uh, a lot of information. Much of, I uh, much of it is fake, you know. Um, that's the tragedy of the era that we're living in uh, at the moment. But um, um, uh, what I know for certain is that uh, the situation in Harare is calm. Um, the army um, uh, has promised uh, you know that uh, all things um, are, are in order. The president is safe. Uh, uh, they have not suspended um, uh, critical functions of government. They have not suspended the constitution. They have not suspended the parliament. So um, it's, uh, it's it's normal. Uh, and uh, if you uh, saw the footage, if you saw um, uh, you know the reports coming from Zim, uh, it's as if nothing is you know is happening. Mm. Uh, but of course, uh, people assist with the better. Um, but what we also know is that uh, um, uh, the world is confined. President Mugabe is confined at, at his um, at his home, and even according to reports here, uh, as we have flighted, uh, you know, uh, he has been in touch with his colleagues uh, like President Jacob Zuma, uh, uh, and he has just assured him that, you know, uh, the situation is under control, and, uh, you know, th there is a lot of uh, uh, diplomatic concern um, with uh, various embassies, various missions, uh, you know, um, uh, or presumably around his residence. Oh yeah, oh, very much, yeah. There, there were also uh, reports about Grace Mugabe being spotted in Namibia, uh, reports relating to Singapore, so we cannot verify anything except that Robert Mugabe himself is still being confined. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, uh, the reports about uh, um, the first lady, about you know even some officials uh, having been put under arrest, have not been confirmed. You know, uh, the authorities or whoever is responsible for, you know, for taking uh, care of uh, uh, that kind of situation they have not uh, issued any authoritative statement, mm. you know, regarding as to who has been arrested or who has been uh, spotted what, you know. All right, having reported from uh, Zimbabwe, mm. you, you've watched the politics mm. there, uh, no doubt. Just uh, d does this whole situation flummox you? Many, many people are surprised, saying we, we wouldn't have expected a coup in Zimbabwe. Yeah, um, certainly it took um, it took everybody by surprise. Uh, it's a, um, a such kind of a situation is the last thing uh, that uh, Zimbabweans uh, in the. 21st uh, century would have thought, uh, but I um, must hasten to say that um, uh, there was a build-up, uh, a very, um, uh, a, a very uneasy build-up um, uh, um, of tension within the ruling party. And what we have seen within the ruling party uh, is uh, uh, a contestation of power uh, mm. the between the military leadership and the political leadership. And this stems back from, uh, you know, say 1977, uh, 40 years ago, uh, because uh, as we talk about the army as presently constituted right now, uh, there are some people who consider themselves as Zanu PF first and the army second. And so we are seeing this contestation of power mm. playing out right now in 2017. The, the three, uh possibilities, maybe more, one that the army just uh, could not uh, deal with Grace Mugabe becoming a uh, successor, another that uh, the general, Chiwenga, was being uh, targeted by President Robert Mugabe and may have been uh, sacked by him, the rumours that he could have gone with Emerson Munangagwa, um, or, or what they're saying about the economy, you know, and uh, the, the mismanagement. What what's rings truer to you? 
Uh, I'm sure both of those situations, uh, or all of those situations, um, um, are correct. Uh, Zimbabwe was in a state of flux. Uh, we have uh, suffered a, co a combination of factors, uh, you know, um, uh, economically, socially, and uh, the leadership question was beginning to nag. And uh, I'm sure what brought matters to a head, uh, uh, as we speak, uh, uh, was um, a recognition or uh, by some by some uh, some quarters that uh, they were certain changes uh, within the executive uh, or within the ruling party leadership that were not desirable and inconsistent. Are we talking about Grace Mugabe? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah right. uh, I'm, I'm sure the, that uh, that looms very large, uh, you know, uh, to the extent that... Yeah. Um, War vets, many, many uh, against. So we, we have to oh. leave it there. We've run out of time, but thank you so much. Uh, hearing from a Zimbabwean journalist, Tich Zedogo. And